So y'all been asking the question, where are the top schools in Northeast Florida? We're gonna talk about these things in this video right now. Let's go. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Dr. Adrian A. Gentry, a.k.a. Dr. Real Estate Jackson. For those who've been here before, you know what we're going to say. Get up, get your own water, your family now. Those who have not been here, do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification as I try to talk about all things Jacks, where to eat, where to live, where to play. And for those who do not know me, I am a real estate agent in the Northeast Florida area here to serve you guys. So whether you're relocating, ETSing, PCSing, coming from the cold up north or the high prices in the west, we are here to serve you. So I'm going to put my phone number somewhere, somewhere in here. Probably it's going to go right here. I don't know where it goes in post-production, guys. But give us a call with the people that pick up the phone, answer the text, answers the emails. So I wanted to jump into this video today, right? One of the biggest questions, especially when families are moving in and they're calling and they're saying, hey, Adrian, I want two things. I want safety and I want great school district, right? We're going to talk about this in this video, right? Because what I have to have everybody understand is Jacksonville is huge. When I say huge, I mean it's, it's the largest city in the country. So I want to kind of break down the districts. I want to kind of break down the schools that you may be attending and some of the options you may have when you're moving your family here when it comes to schools. So let me show you around Jackson a little bit and we're going to go talk about it. Let's go. All right, guys, so you, you kind of seen, seen Jacksonville a little bit. So I wanted, to, I wanted to break down the infrastructure, what goes on in Northeast Florida, right? If you're moving to Northeast Florida, you're gonna look at four major counties. Now, there are a couple of more, but we're not gonna talk about them in this video. We're gonna talk about one, Duval, that's Jacksonville. That's Jacksonville, Florida, right? That's the county that most people are looking at when they're moving down here. But we also have St. John's, we have Nassau, and we have Clay County, which are smaller counties, but we'll find out what their schools look like. And so we're going to break these down by county first. And then inside of those counties, we're going to talk about what are the top schools in that area. So we're going to start with number four and we're going to break down to number one. And, and you want to hear it. Like you want to hear number one and you, I got a little bit of extra at the end of it. So we're going to start with number four. So coming in at number four, we're talking about Duval Public School System. Now, you have to understand, Duval is the largest district that's comprised of four cities. We're talking about Jacksonville, which most people are looking for. We're looking at Jacksonville Beach, New T Neptune Beach, and Atlantic Beach. Now, we've seen some significant improvements over the years to be like increased graduation rate, to improve the academics, the overall performance of the students, but it comes in at number four. It has a B minus rating right now. And you have to understand, this is a huge city. And to know all of the schools with all of the zones, it would be completely impossible. I, I have a beautiful mind, but I'm not the beautiful mind. So we're talking about 204 schools. We're talking about 155 private schools. And then we're talking about over 160,000 students. So finding that perfect school mix for you, we have to sit down and we have to talk about it and, and, and try to get you into the areas based off of your criteria to find these schools. So we're going to go through each of the top schools of this list and we're going to start with elementary. For elementary schools, the top schools will be Jacksonville Beach Elementary, where we'd look at John Stockton, we would look at Landon College Prep and Leadership Prep. All right, so when we get into middle schools, we're going to have Landon on this list again, and it pops up because once again, it's a preparatory school, getting people prepared to go to college, and it's leadership development. We're looking at James Weldon Johnson. We're looking at River City Academy at Mandarin. High schools, best high schools, Stanton Prep, which is actually nationally ranked at Four. We're looking at Paxson, which is also ranked at 30. And we're looking at Douglas Anderson, which is ranked at 129. And of course, again, on that would be River City Academy. So when we're looking at moving children to Jacksonville, you might want to top off and check out some of these schools. And what I tell people to do, and I'm going to say it multiple times in this video, is check out greatschools.org, especially when you found a a house that you want you can go on there you can type in the address and once you type in the address you can actually see what the schools rank in that area now with douglas anderson i wanted to make one more note douglas anderson has a graduation rate of about 99 percent 
very high rate. And this is this is one of those schools. I think they do the violin, they do dance. It's like a, it's like the Julia Art of, of of Jacksonville for high school students. So if your kid is into those type of things, you may want to check out Douglas Anderson now. Now, coming in at number three, Nassau County School District. Nassau County School District is located north of Jacksonville. I always like to call that place South Georgia. Why? Because if I jump on the interstate, I could probably get to South Georgia in 10 minutes. They're only serving right now about 12,000 students, and it has a, a rating from the Florida Department of Education. The graduation rate is over 94%. Now, Nassau makes up about four cities, right? Fernandina Beach, Yulee, Callahan, and Hilliard. They have 20 public schools out there. They have eight private schools out there. And I think they're serving somewhere around 16, I want to say 16,000 students in totality. So when we're looking at schools out there, one of the places that we did a video on called Wildlife, they're going to be one of the top schools when we're talking about ranking for elementary schools we're going to have Hilliard Elementary School and then we're going to have Briceville Elementary. When we're talking about middle schools Callahan Middle School, Nassau Virtual and Yulee Middle School are going to be your top middle schools in this area and the graduation rate in the Nassau West Nassau High School right which is one of the top schools out there is about 97 percent. Coming in at number two, Clay County School District. Clay County is a smaller district and it's located kind of to the west of Jacksonville and it serves 38,000 students. It has an overall A rating when it comes to the Florida Department of Education and the graduation rate is above 90%. Now, Clay County. Clay County makes up about 10 smaller cities. Orange Park, Fleming Island, Green Cove Springs, Keystone Heights, Middleburg, Orange, Park. Did I say that again? I think I might've said that again. Anyway, Penny Farms, Lake Ashbury, Lakeside, and then Butler Meadows, Meadowbrook, Butler, Butler Meadowbrook. I'm, I'm coming off the dome, guys. You, you gotta understand, it's all up in here. It's coming out, but anyway. Fleming Island being the largest city, which is about 23 square miles, down to Keystone Heights, which is only one square mile. And this county, there are 49 public schools that serve 38,000 students, and then there are 25 private schools that serve 2,900 students. There we go. I, I, I'm not gonna tell you how many times I had to cut that because I could not get it off my tongue. But anyway, elementary schools uh, in Clay County, you're gonna find Orange Park Elementary School, you're gonna find Fleming Island Elementary School, and then you're gonna find Robert, was it Patterson Elementary School as your top ranked schools. Middle schools, you're going to find Lakeside Junior High School, you're gonna find St. John's Classic Academy, and then you're going to find Green Cove Springs Junior High School. High schools in Clay County. You're gonna find St. John's Classic Academy. You're going to find Fleming Island High School, which is actually ranked 90 in the state of Florida. And then you're gonna find Oak Leaf, which is ranked, I think, 207. And you're gonna find Clay County Virtual School. And coming in number one, St. John's County, which consistently ranks through the entire state as one of the top districts it has a rated schools very low teacher to student ratio somewhere like 16 to 1 it has a 96 percent graduation rate it, it's 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 where most people want to be when they're talking about bringing their children to florida and talk about a great school district now this county consists of about 13 different cities i'm not going to talk about all of those i know i did it for the other ones i'm not doing this one i can't remember 13 different things and it would be impossible for me to get every last one of them out but it has 60 public schools serving about four 45,000 students and then it has 30 private schools when we're looking at schools that are the best the top ones elementary is going to be st john's virtual school it's going to be julian creek it's going to be ponte Vedra, palm valley and then rowling elementary when we're talking about middle schools we're talking about valley ridge academy and palm valley academy when we're looking at rankings as far as high schools go. We gotta put this one on there, Pana Vidra High School. It's ranked number 155 in the entire country by US Newsweek and World Report. So this is the county that I generally take people to when they, you know their budget fits, they wanna be closer to the beach, they wanna be historic areas. This is an outstanding place for families. One of the things I know I've talked about, and I've talked about pretty much in every video, right? Anytime I'm talking about schools, because I think it's such an amazing thing, right? School of choice. With school of choice, you know, families have the opportunity to, to pick a school inside of their district, right? Where you're not necessarily zoned. So generally, XYZ schools fit XYZ neighborhoods. That's how you're zoned. But you can stay inside the district. 
not saying that you ever want to go from St. Johns County to Duval County, and that's that's something you cannot do. So as long as it's inside of your district, say the Duval County, the Nassau County, the St. Johns County, like you can find a school that you like for your children. So if your chil children love doing the arts, you have Douglas Anderson, you can apply for that school, not necessarily saying it's a guarantee that you'll get into it. So if you really want another school outside of your zone, pick a couple of schools, like apply to a couple of ones so you can actually get into the school that you're, you feel will be best for your family. If you'd like to know more about the programs, do me a favor, go over to dceps.duvalschools.org. Yes, that's it. Scroll down, click on School of Choice. I'll put a link down in the description and they have, I mean, everything. They have STEM programs, career programs, dual language programs. I mean, find a school, go down, check it out. Find a school that actually works for your family. And it's best to understand the best school district for your child varies. It depends on the individual needs of the student. What are your children into? And I think right now we have to focus on that more than ever. Why? Because we have so much social media and like, in our children's head about what they should be and they shouldn't be. And we have to really build on the strengths of our children and move them in a the direction. So it's a fantastic way to, to, to put your kid into a school with something they, they actually they actually want to do, right? Like not just learn about, you know, what did they do in 1965? Like that that's not how most kids' brains work. Find something that they're interested in and they perform better at it. So I think school of choice is just that thing, right? Like in this time, in this age, allowing kids to actually do the things that they that they enjoy doing, like let them explore. This is their time to figure it all out before they hit 18 and you, you kick them out and they have to pay bills, right? Like let them explore the things that they love to, to, to make it better for them in the future. So that's it. That's, that's all I got for you guys, right? Like we went through the top school districts, um, going backwards, Duval, Nassau, Clay County, and then of course St. John's, right? We went over the, the top schools in that area. We went over greatschools.org where you can go and you can kind of check out the different schools inside of the zones that you're at. If you're looking for a property, we kind of went over pricing as well. So I, I've given you a lot right there. So just take that information. And, and, and I know a lot of people look at my videos and they're saying, well, you didn't talk much about the school system. There's 204 schools just in Duval. If I would calculate all of those districts, bruh, it's, it's hard. It's, it's hard. Now, there's areas of town where you're going to find, of course, the best zone schools, but it's all based off of your needs, and then you have options. That's the crazy part about all of this. So, that's it. I'm going to put my phone number in here again, right? If you want to talk more about moving to Jacksonville, PCSing, ETSing, uh, relocating from the cold, or the expensive west give us a call like we would love to serve you in any way that we can but i want to go into a deep dive into some of the best schools in jacksonville and giving you a better understanding of what the climate is so until next time be great choose excellence <music>